A very good morning to you. Last Monday we looked at how important hope is to a Christian in these difficult times. We saw how in the midst of all the problems and challenges of the pandemic, life has to go on. Babies are being born. People are finding new strengths within themselves. Birthdays are being celebrated, certainly in a more muted way. Maybe you have a birthday today. Maybe you have lost a loved one recently. Life can be very hard and sometimes very challenging. In the midst of it all, we do have hope. And let me tell you, hope is not merely positive thinking or baseless optimism. Let us look at what the Bible tells us. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 13 And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. In Romans 5 verse 5, And hope does not disappoint us, because God has poured out his love into our hearts by the Holy Spirit, whom he has given us. Incidentally, that was our benediction last Monday. And in 1 Peter 1 verse 3, in his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Lastly, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. If we apply these verses, then we can affirm the following. Hope with faith and love are eternal qualities of the soul. Hope is the outflowing of the Holy Spirit's presence in us. Hope is inextricably linked to the resurrection. Hope is realized and epitomized in Jesus' physical resurrection. However, hope can restore relationships heal failures, overcome disappointments, and spark new beginnings. And all of this is resurrection. When we take our capacity for hope and actively ground it in our understanding of a trusting God, hope can empower us to soar like the eagle. In these times, it is essential that we listen to God more than we listen to the news or the rantings of social media. Our source of hope and truth is the God whose love for us is so sincere that it went all the way to the cross. Let me end with this quote from Kenneth Callahan. Hope is stronger than memory. Salvation is stronger than sin. Forgiveness is stronger than bitterness. Reconciliation is stronger than hatred. The open tomb than the bloodied cross. And the risen Lord is stronger than the dead Jesus. We are the people of hope. Let us pray. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that through our risen Lord Jesus and through the Holy Spirit, we may have hope. Hope when everything seems hopeless. Hope that clings to our trust in our Saviour Christ, who through his amazing and conditional love gives us a living hope. Thank you for that hope, which enables us to soar above all the confusion, the darkness, the negativity into the very real presence of our living Saviour, who knows, who understands, and who enables us to hold on to him, no matter what our circumstances or situations may be. Amen.
Go now in that vital hope that he has given us so freely in love and faith. Amen.